We keep things rolling here on the Sports Cubicle. I'm your host, Mike Mercado, and this story I wanted to hit on, kind of taking the NBA world by storm, the big story in the NBA that doesn't involve some great play going on during these NBA playoffs, and that is the NBA TV negotiation rights that are currently taking place, and there are some new faces, some old faces in this competition to be the destination spot for the NBA and their games, and this has a huge ramification on one of the best sports shows and one of the best television shows, period. And that's inside the NBA on TNT. So why don't we dig a little bit more into this? This comes to us from Steve Gardner at USA Today. The NBA's contracts with ESPN, ABC, and TNT are set to expire at the end of the 2024-25 season. Amazon Prime reportedly struck a deal last month to become one of the NBA's broadcast partners, beginning with the 2025-2026 season. ESPN, ABC is expected Expected to continue broadcasting the NBA, including the NBA Finals. And NBC, which lost the NBA broadcasting rights in 2002, is reportedly interested in getting back into the league, which can leave TNT out of the picture. So before we get into the crown jewel of the Turner Network, especially the sports division of Warner Brothers Turner Network, that is inside the NBA and the NBA product, let's look at some of these names first that are being rumored and have signed deals to be the new home of the NBA. First, ESPN ABC, obviously being owned by Disney and having the finals on ABC, pushing the ESPN Plus app, pushing all the products they have. They have the financial backing, the the cash to keep this deal going. Then you look at Amazon. Obviously, Amazon, Jeff Bezos, all the money in the world to do whatever they want. And we know that for them, bringing in the NFL, doing other live programming, doing television shows and movies, the big thing for them is just to get you on the app, to get Amazon Prime, to order your detergents and any clothing needs you may have. That's the point. That's the reason that they are willing, that they are able to spend all this money. And to them, getting an NBA package, having the NBA on Wednesday nights is a dream come true for them. Because not only do they now have that NFL slate every Thursday and any extra games they may get, including playoff games, you look at what's going on with the NBA having an 82 game schedule with all the different teams they have all the different stars that are emerging perfect time for Amazon to get their share of NBA TV rights but now you have NBC versus TNT. And I think the one thing we have to keep in mind is the merger that happened between Time Warner and Discovery. And now that Warner Discovery merger that has happened, we've seen that they are in a place right now where they are hemorrhaging money. And I don't know if they have the money to be able to keep the NBA and compare that to who they're going up against in NBC, who is owned by Comcast who has all the money in the world, who also wants to make sure that they have their share of the consumer so that they can make sure that people are buying their cable, their internet, buying and subscribing to the Peacock app. They can make this huge play, can have losses early for gains later. And that's what this has come down to when you're looking at it from the view of these companies, that they have to be willing to lose some money now to make a lot more later. And these companies that are signing these sports TV deals, giving these rights to these leagues, have the assets, the cash to do it, to front it, to back up what they're offering. That may not be the case for TNT. And I want to get into that, what it means to lose TNT as a home for basketball, more specifically inside the NBA. Let's just start with inside the NBA, the pregame, the postgame, the halftime show, every commercial they do, any podcast that they are in, all the clips that you can have on YouTube and social media. They are the best studio television show of all time, sports or news. The information you're able to gather from That show, the production, the entertainment, it is all magic in that show. Ran beautifully by Ernie Johnson, but Kenny the Jet Smith, obviously Shaquille O'Neal, and the star of the show, Charles Barkley. It can be argued on any given broadcast, the pregame, halftime, and postgame show, specifically inside the NBA, I think in the minds and hearts of the fans, they rather the postgame and the pregame, the halftime, than the game itself. That's how special that show is. That's how special those producers are, those cameramen, the people that design the sets and the graphics and the music. Everybody. It is perfect. But even we don't want to be hyperbolic and say it's the best studio show ever. Without a question, with no argument, it is the greatest sports studio show 
of all time. And every studio show in the sports world has tried to mimic it. And not just sports that are trying to keep up with the NBA. The king of them all, the National Football League, every single one of their pregame, halftime, and postgame shows try to be like inside the NBA. The NBA world will not be the same when that show is off the air. And if it comes this next season out of nowhere, or at least to the eyes of a lot of fans who don't keep up with news like this, that the show, one of the main reasons they tune in to TNT basketball is now gone, let alone the entire sport is now off that network, it'll be a blow to the sport. And sure, there will eventually be fans that migrate to NBC, specifically if it's over the air or on the Peacock app. And in this story specifically on this same article by Steve Gardner about Charles Barkley, there's perhaps no bigger star in NBA television broadcasting than Charles Barkley. His oversized personality and his chemistry with hosts Ernie Johnson Jr. and former players Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith combined to make their Inside the NBA studio show incredibly popular. But with TNT no luck to be part of the league's next television deal, Sir Charles has made his association with the association will continue. Quote, I just signed a 10-year deal two years ago, but one of the things I did was I put an opt-out in a couple years because I wanted to cover my ass when it comes to this situation, Barkley said Wednesday in an interview with 850 ESPN Cleveland. Barkley said he recognized that could be a possibility when he and his Inside the NBA colleagues signed their new deals in 2022. Quote, I said, if you guys lose the NBA, I want to make sure I can get out of here. So I'm actually in a really great position, Barkley said. Quote, listen, I love TNT. They've been great to me. I wanted to make sure that if we lost the NBA in two years, I could be a free agent. So the entire article over by Steve Gardner on USA Today. So there is a chance that all of them just migrate over to NBA and we get that amazing theme song and we get inside the NBA NBC edition but it is all going to change the way we are watching television has changed the way we consume sports has changed and now a fixture of all of sports television is changing and it's happening so fast I don't think a lot of people realize what they're going to be missing but soon enough when we turn on Amazon Prime when we turn on Peacock when we turn on ESPN it's going to look a whole lot different than it does right now we want to know your thoughts where do you think the NBA is going to end up will it stay on TNT will it go to NBC is it worth it losing inside the NBA if we get the theme song back or do you think we're going to get the best of both worlds let us know your thoughts we're on Twitter at Sports Cubicle TV subscribe to us on YouTube at the Sports Cubicle we're at your favorite podcast wherever you get your favorite podcast spotify apple podcast at sports from the couch the sports cubicle we got more coming up next here on the sports cubicle i'm mike mercado